welcome to the EITV News, the only news channel that brings you up-to-date coverage of what's happening in the world of enterprise in the valleys right across the Western Valleys. It has been reported the Fauna One Day Enterprise Workshop in Betos, all of their participating groups have taken their communities by storm with their innovative enterprises. Sangaina, Kaira, Anglin, Karag have all been the centre of a flurry of enterprise activity. Right across the Western Valleys areas, we have had reports of other enterprises springing up. The young people of Palena, Evanstown, Britain Ferry and Neath have followed suit and have been finding out what the world of enterprise is all about. Our business is called Gigsfield. We went up to Bet to do a competition of four groups took part. Uh, we were one of them. And uh, it was whoever made the best like like portfolio in a way. And whoever came on top won it. And then we got one of the opportunity to do an event which was a uh, band night. We've learned how to put a risk assessment together before the show. And like the market, how to buy and sell and all that and like we learned skills how to like get people in because we had to ring Lee Jokes all the time to try and like Mike emailed him and we had to ring to get our tops made and all that. Working on posters more, thinking and getting more advertisement out than try and sort out the band listings and stuff like that. Tell me, uh, come down here like, well, mainly every Monday, but like a month before the show actually took place, we come down here about, about three, four times well, a week and yeah. like made sure everything was right to get the show good on the night. And everything went smoothly on the night. Everyone said it was a, it was a success. We spoke 100 people there in the night and we hopefully like to do future events. We then went on and we, did, we had a qualification in OCN which helped a lot of people in the group like and um, also gained something else for us which is another progress I'm Jamie. I'm Josh Evans. I'm Josh. And I'm Gavin. And we're Evanstown Elites. And we do free running, which is basically parkour. We meet up every either Wednesday or Thursday uh, at uh, 5 5.30. And the meetings uh, last for about an hour, an hour and a half. We just talk about what's our next step and how we're going to get Funny. more money and more popularity. Well, we done at Evo, there was an Evo fun day up there, so the whole sports centre, <laughs> and when we went up there, we had a stall and we done Name the Teddy, and we were selling ducks up there at the time, because we had a, we was hoping to organise a duck race, um, in, like, our local stream, with us sort of thing, and we were, like, selling raffle tickets, and at the end of the day, we raised £130, £10, just off selling, like, crisps and cans and raffle tickets and that. Refreshments. We've learned about business skills, stuff like merchanting. It's where you buy stuff for less and like sell it for it's a bit more price. It's not merchanting. It's bartering. It's merchanting. It's, it's bartering. Um, we learned the how to can control our money, how to keep it safe. Because we opened up a bank account with um, Dragon, Dragon Savers. Savers, and we can withdraw our money anytime we want. So we were like thinking about buying equipment out of our money. So yeah. Yeah, that's or um, t-shirts. Okay. I'm a community development worker uh, and I guess we work with these guys because we notice them in the community, loads and loads of energy, jumping around, urban gymnastics, um, and we wanted to help them channel that energy into way, in a way which is going to be productive and kind of fits in with the community as well. Um, so uh, we supported them to access free running. Um, supported them to learn business skills um, uh, and of course uh, entering things like the Evo Fund Day and being part of the community which is really really important. Um, 
I think there's been a lot of organisations involved, but particularly um, there's been a lot of volunteers involved that's supported the guys. And what it's actually done, uh, I think very much, it's channeled their energy, and there's lots of it, um, and it's actually helped make them part of the community. Um, so we've found over the months they've been doing this, there's perhaps been less friction about young guys running around the community, jumping over walls, jumping on buildings, and there's been a much more positive feedback from the community. And in fact, it feels very much more that they're accepted in the community, uh, and that's been noted uh, by us uh, and by the organisations around us. So it's been a very um, positive, fun-filled experience for us all about being involved in this. Uh, uh, and we're very impressed with the guys, what they've achieved uh, and their focus. My name's Robin Johnston. My name's Shailene Edward. My name's Shanice Stokes. And our company yeah. name is Kyra Crazy Creation Cinema. Cinema. Um, we set up the cinema and we've done products. We've done a carnival and a car wash. And then we started our cinema club. We all set up and then we took tries in terms of cooking, cooking selling sweets and then watching the film. Pop, pop, Popcorn. Mm. It's only once a fortnight. It's about 35 young people, and it's like teenagers, some, sometimes 16 year olds come, then like, well, like seven year olds as well. We made posters and we set up a count on Facebook to say well, what day it was on, and we then leave flats through people's doors. And we put posters in shops, and we sent in the carnival, we sent like other people, like the kids who we know, around the carnival with little leaflets saying what's happening and giving it to people. We learned about finance and stuff like that. And then food hygiene yeah. as well. And food hygiene, of course. We passed. Yeah. Yeah, we went to, I think it was in um, Talbot. Um, we did this food hygiene course for this man. And oh, yeah, we were we all done there and we all passed our food hygiene course. We're planning on doing more, some more this month as well, and next month towards Christmas, and over the half term. Bye. Bye. Hi, we're Maxter. I'm Nathan Jones. I'm Calvin Hughes. I'm Ian Piaf. Naxter is an online, free online entertainment site. Um, games, news, socialising, pictures, videos. videos. We come up to this idea because we're teenagers ourselves and our main target market is teenagers. So they are more interested in this topic. Subject. Uh, we first heard about it at school and we didn't really pay that much attention but after a visit to Communities First we decided to take part in with Enterprise and Avalis and pursue our business idea. We have been doing fundraising well once at the moment. Um, we've been selling chocolate on marshmallows, we the cake and name the teddy. Dumbarton Ferry. Dumbarton Ferry and got um, some of it. Uh, with the Enterprise in the Valleys project, we've learned lots of skills and gone on lots of visit visits thanks to Enterprise in the Valleys to several places such as Cardiff, which was a company which develops mobile apps and we got more help in that field and other business people to help us. Uh, ensure our business is a success. Hello! Hi, Hi. Uh, they were 
13 of us in all together in, in the ice group. Oh, we met every uh, Wednesday after school. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed uh, when we were, like do well. We organised a talent show, get everything together, meeting up, and sorting what we need to do and everything. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good for us to work together for a change for the wild wind and not amongst ourselves. Um, we learned I've how to like make more money and um, how to work as a team and more bi and business skills. In our talent show we sold about about hundred and fifty tickets. And people paid the door. We sold refreshments for people to get and you know, after each break with the with the talent show. And we sold raffles. We sold uh, cakes and hot dogs, hot dogs um, <coughs> tea and coffee. Uh, we done a tal We organised a talent show at Peter's and Paul's Church on the 27th of June. Um, we had to make a pitch to the manager of Enterprise in the Valleys and to our head teacher, asking if we, he could donate money so we could buy everything we needed. And um, also, we wrote letters to the venue to see if we could do it in St Peter's and Paul's Church, to the music department to see if we could have all the mics and stuff. And I think that's it. Hi, we're the production team. I'm Chris. I'm Kieran. I'm David. Uh, we're in charge of making sure all the equipment gets down to the church, um, uh, risk assessment, make sure there's enough chairs setting up on the evening. And uh, we're in charge of the doors, make sure people didn't get in without tickets. That's it. <laughs> we love Enterprise! We have been making chocolate muffins. <laughs> with chocolate, with chocolate chips. chips. With chocolate yeah. chips and everything. And, <laughs> and, the, and the white stars, which yeah. I've been putting in. We, well, we, the medium size. Yeah, we, we do make them mega muffins because we are aiming to make them big. We, are, we make mini muffins as well. For samples. Yeah. yeah. We've sold loads of uh, mega muffins. We've sold them around Tonmau and around some events. Uh, so far we've probably made about £50 profit. That goes towards some equipment and some activities for the youth club. We have learned business skills from doing this project such as um, cooking and marketing skills. Regular muffins has helped me gain more confidence because, um, because we have to do the presentation which I don't usually like doing in school, but we have to use the confidence to be able to speak to her and to ask her for the money. So that helped me a lot. And also it helped me um, with my handwriting because a lot of teachers said I, that they couldn't understand my handwriting. Um, because we've been writing quite a bit, it's helped me improve that as well. It has given me a very big... Um, confidence because I was really shy before but now I'm building up my confidence so I wouldn't really stand in front of the camera because I'd be too shy but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have been working towards an OCN um, in enterprise whilst learning business skills. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Thank you for those fantastic new summaries. It looks like a lot of young people are developing into ins inspiring young entrepreneurs. I think we are seeing the beginning of something special here. I will now hand you over to Mike with the EITV forecast. Enterprise and young people are hot in hub. Here, here, and here. And it looks like over the next few weeks, we'll see more enterprise sunshine settling in here, here, and here. Enterprise clubs are also warming up. Here, here, and here. And it looks as though we are in for a warm and bright future. Thanks for listening to ITV News.